wallet, had been tortured to death. If Raphael didn't tell the truth, he would suffer the same fate. But he knew that if he revealed the location of the wallet, his two companions would be implicated. Frederick had had enough, and he immediately ordered his men to get rid of him. He left, driving away. One of the officers raised his gun, but in the next second, he aimed at the ground next to him. He couldn't bring himself to kill a 14-year-old. Raphael was lucky to survive. The next day, he was found by scavengers on the roadside, and they quickly carried him to the church. The priest stitched up his wounds while subtly suggesting that if they found the wallet, they should hand it over now while they still had the chance, but they had already risked so much for the secret behind the wallet, even putting their lives on the line. Giving up wasn't an option. After the priest left, they fell into confusion. Their only lead now was the name of the prisoner. It was time to seek external help. They found the priest's assistant and explained that Raphael was in grave danger and needed a professional lawyer to sue the police. However, regular lawyers were too afraid to take the case. Luckily, Gatto had a lawyer grandfather, even though he was currently in prison. The assistant was puzzled as to why they were seeking his help. Gatto replied with resignation. You are an American. 